Continuing on our uh, failure analysis on the 200 HPDI, this is the one we found the defective water pump housing. But we're going to keep checking because there can be two problems. So the two tests we have left are a fuel restriction and a uh, to check the alarm. So what we do here is we take an electric fuel pump off a motor, you know, probably a parts motor. This pumps about, I think, about. Uh, probably about 30 gallons an hour. So what it's doing is it's imitating the draw the motor would have on the fuel system and the boat. So if there's any restriction, what would happen is on this gauge that we've attached, there'd be more than five pounds of vacuum. If there is, there's a fuel restriction which can lean out the motor. Leaning is, means not enough fuel, two stroke motor. The fuel is needed for a lubricant and to keep everything cool in there. If you don't have enough fuel going to the motor, you can blow the motor. And as I said, this motor came in here and needed to re be rebuilt, so we want to know why it needs to be rebuilt. So we've got our 12 volt source. We're going to turn it on right now. And all we've done is we've taken the under the end of the fuel, and we've strung it, and we put it into the fuel cap right here, so we don't have to put it in a bucket and everything like that. So this has got to start pumping fuel just like the motor would. So we don't have to go out for a boat ride every time we want to do one of these tests. There goes the pump. All right, that's a lot of restriction. And then the meter's not running off, and you see what happens when you have a fuel restriction. So see you there. You're just this gauge is not calibrated correctly, so it's reading a little high. But restrictions caused by crimp in the line obviously you crimp the line boom so that would cut off the fuel to the engine at high rpm that would blow the engine anti-siphon valve inside the uh, top of the fuel tank clogged strainer in the fuel tank possibly a bad uh, fuel water separator in the boat a bad primer ball so lots of things can cause it so very very important test that everybody neglects pretty much the other thing we're going to do we're going to turn this off right now We also test the alarm. This is just a temp test of the alarm. So what we do is we just unplug the black and the pink. This is a temp center and when it gets hot it grounds out the pink wire but all we have to do is go like this. Hopefully you can hear that. It's an alarm going off by the key switch so we'd hear it. So our alarm works well. So this is our com the completed portion of the tests. We are going to go on a C trial. We'll include that in the video. Hopefully that goes well.